friends welcome to our youtube channel electronics for you friends in this video i will solve a problem of h parameter and here is the problem you can see here that uh, this is uh, our input port and the current flowing is i1 and this is uh, our output port and the current flowing is i2 here so by the definition of h parameters now we will write uh, equations for the h parameters it is v1 equals to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 similarly here i2 is equals to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 where h11 h12 h21 and h22 are our h parameters and if you want to find the h parameters that is h11 will be equals to v1 upon i1 if v2 equals to 0 similarly if v2 equals to 0 h21 will be equals to i2 upon i1 now similarly if i1 equals to 0 we can find h12 and h22 so by using this uh, this concept further we can find the values of uh, these different parameters so here what we will do we will solve it by considering i v2 equals to 0 how voltage can be made 0 by short circuiting the port now v2 is the voltage at port 2 so we will short circuit port 2 and definitely further v2 will be equals to 0 and therefore we will write here connect one volt source this is our this is our uh, concept that we are using that uh, we are sh connecting one old source at some port now we are short circuiting port 2 therefore we will connect uh, one old source at port 1 and let port 2 be short circuited if we short circuit our port 2 then the diagram will become like this so it is your i2 and this is our i1 now we have to apply mesh analysis here to find the values of uh, the current i1 i2 and we know the value of v1 so we will apply mesh analysis here let this current is i1 let this current now we can't consider it as i2 because i2 is already here so we'll assume it as i3 and let this current which is flowing in clockwise direction is i4 again this i4 is equals to minus i2 that is the sign of uh, the direction of i2 and i4 are opposite to each other therefore if we calculate i4 then we will get i2 as the negative value now we can solve it by mesh analysis so by mesh analysis now we will use analytical method sorry we will use our inspection method for the mesh analysis so we will directly write it in the matrix form where we will write the addition of all the resistances in port 1 this is nothing but 1 plus 1 2 then the common to 1 and loop loop 1 and loop 2 is this 1 ohm resistance we will have negative sign here and then 1 and loop 3 is not connected with each other therefore 0 will become will be here 
this minus 1 will repeat it will be repeated here addition of all the resistances in loop 2 is 6 and last common to port loop 3 and loop 2 is this 2 ohm resistance this is having negative sign again then for loop 3 again this 0 will be repeated here minus 2 will be repeated here similarly addition of all the resistances in loop 3 is 6 now our currents these are unknown currents i1 i3 and i4 respectively and at the end we are having voltage sources as 1 volt in loop 1 loop 2 is not having any voltage source similarly loop 3 is also not having any voltage source so this is our equation for the mesh analysis friends uh, if you don't know how to write it please watch our video here and uh, further we can solve it by using calculator or by using our Kramer's rule I have already solved ABCD parameter in uh, by using Kramer's rule now I will explain how to solve it uh, by using calculator so let us use calculator in equation mode so we will use equation mode by using shift and mode setup sorry directly mode setup here phi number is our equation mode so we will use that phi number now we our matrix is of 3 by 3 so we will use this equation that is number 2 in our calculator so we are having this type of uh, matrix here and we will directly enter this value now we are having 2 minus 1 0 and 1 so it is 2 then minus 1 then 0 and 1 similarly minus 1 is here 6 then minus 2 0 then 0 is again minus 2 is there then 4 is there and last is 0 if we enter it we will get first value that is current i1 equals to phi u upon 9 similarly i2 not i2 it's i3 i3 equals to 1 upon 9 we are not interested in value of i3 and let i4 i4 will be equals to 1 upon 18 here so these are uh, our respective values of the voltage and current now h11 is equals to v1 upon i1 so we are having the value of v1 it is nothing but 1 volt let me write here v1 is equals to 1 volt all the currents are having unit ampere then h21 is equals to i2 upon i1 i2 over i1 so we'll use the same formula i will write here or here let it be at this so h11 will be equals to v1 upon i1 with v2 equals to 0 that is port 2 is short circuited means v2 equals to 0 the value of v1 is 1 volt and i1 is phi u over 9 so our h11 will be 9 over phi u so here v upon i is our ohm that is its unit will be ohm similarly h21 h21 equals to i2 upon i1 with v2 equals to 0 now i2 is nothing but so what is i2 what is the value of i2 i2 is the exactly opposite current that we have assumed is i4 so it's it is nothing but 
माइनस वन अपॉन एटीन वी हैव अज्यूम द करंट आई फोर एंड आई टू इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो इट विल बी माइनस वन अपॉन एटीन सो माइनस वन अपॉन एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय आई वन आई वन इज हैविंग वैल्यू फाइव अपॉन नाइन सो द पैरामीटर्स एच टू वन विल बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अपॉन टेन नाउ आई टू अपॉन आई वन इज द करेंट रेशो सो इट विल नॉट हैव एनी यूनिट so this is our case one where we have found the values of h11 and h21 now for the second case that is to find the values of h12 and h22 what we should do we should uh, make i1 equals to 0 for that i uh, port 1 should be open circuited port 1 should be open circuited and one old source will be applied at the port Two. That will be our case number two to find the values of H one two and H two two respectively. Now this is our case two where we will connect a one volt source at port two and let port one be open circuited. So I will connect here one volt source at port two. Let it be plus minus one volt. Now you can assume current I two flowing in this direction, and let this current be I five. We have already used I three and I four, so I am assuming this current as I five. Now I one equals to zero because it is port one which is open circuited, and we can find V two at across this one ohm resistors if necessary. So. The formula for H one two will be V one upon V two, so we will require value of V one also. Now this is our diagram, and here we will again apply mesh analysis. So by mesh analysis, now it's only two by two matrix, and I can start in any direction. Let me start with this direction. And uh, there, here the values of all the resistances, addition of all the resistances are four. Then common to loop one and loop two is this minus two. Minus two will be repeated here, and uh, addition of all these resistances again it is six. So the currents are I two and I five. And at the end, at this port. One old source is applied, whereas this loop is not having any voltage source, so it will be equal to zero. Now, uh, again, we can use a calculator to solve this, but uh, here I will use Cramer's rule. So we will find delta. Delta is nothing but the determinant of this matrix. That is four minus two minus two and six. It will be equal to this is twenty four. Minus four, so it will be equal to twenty. Similarly, delta I two, delta I two is now this column should be replaced by this uh, voltage. So uh, this column, so four and two is replaced by one and zero to calculate the value of I two. Uh, sorry, it's delta I two. Then minus two and six is here. The multiplication is six, so determinant is six here. Now this is the value of I two delta I two. Similarly, we have to find the value of delta I phi u here. Delta I phi u is nothing but uh, this column. Column number two should be replaced by this column that is one and zero. So determinant its determinant will be this minus two. It will become positive two. So plus two. Now, I two equals to it is delta I two upon delta, which is equals to so delta I two is six upon delta that is twenty. You can write here one upon three, uh, three upon twenty ten also, if you wish. Its current I two then I 
फाइव आई फाइव विल बी इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा आई फाइव अपॉन डेल्टा इट्स टू अपॉन ट्वेंटी वी कैन राइट वन अपॉन टेन एम्पियर ऑल्सो नाउ वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ वी वन इट इज नथिंग बट वन ओल्ड एंड वी टू विल बी सॉरी वी टू इज एक्चुअली वन ओल्ड एंड V1 is the voltage across this one ohm resistance, so it will be one ohm multiplied by that is current into resistance. Current is I phi u, so it is one multiplied by I phi u. The value of I phi u is two upon twenty. Its unit is old. Now, as per our definition, we are having H12 equals to V1 upon V2. You can see the definition. And for I1 equals to zero, that is open circuiting port one will get I1 equals to zero. The value of V1 is two upon twenty, and V2 is one. Therefore, our answer will be equals to one upon ten. Now its voltage ratio, so it will not have any unit. Similarly, H22, H22. As per definition, again H22 is equals to I2 upon I2 upon V2. And for I1 equals to zero again. So I2 is this one. That is six upon twenty. Then over again, uh, V2. Value of V2 is one volt, so you can write three upon ten, and the unit is mohm. It is opposite to that of resistance. So this is our H22. So after combining all, there is we can write it in a single form. That is H11, H12, H22. Sorry, H21 and H22. We have previously got the values of some parameters. That is H11, which was 9 upon 5 ohm. You can write fractional values also. H12 is 1 upon 10. Then H21 that we found was minus 1 upon 10, and H22. H22 is 3 upon 10. more so these are our h parameters in this way we can find h parameters thank you